What's up guys, welcome to Top Gen, the generational game show that reminds millennials exactly why they hate everyone over the age of 40, also under the age of 20. I'm your host, Afgash Singh, and today we're gonna see which of these boomers, Xers, millennials, and Zoomers reps their generation to the fullest. But before we get to the game, let's meet our contestants coming to us from their virtual pods right here in the Complex Studio. First, oldest to youngest, obviously, holding it down for the boomers, we have Michael. Michael, how are you, man? Very good, man, thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. You have aged better than every boomer that we've had here before. You seem like you're a hip dude. I'm, I, I'm in the fitness business, so if I don't age gracefully, I'm gonna, I'm gonna in big trouble. Tell me why you think the boomers are gonna win this. Why are you gonna be the first boomer to make it to the finals? Uh, you know, I wish I actually had faith in us, but it's it's a wealth of knowledge accumulated over years. So I'm hoping that, you know, that, that has something to do with me succeeding in this show. Next, we have representing Gen X, Mike. So Michael and Mike. Mike, how are you, buddy? I'm feeling stupendous and remarkable. How are you feeling today? Holy shit. You came here in a suit. Yo, you're yo, Michael ain't shit compared to you, dude. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. You know, you have to look the part. I want the money, I dress like I have the money already. So you could just write the check now. You probably spent more than what you're gonna win on this suit, but I'm rooting for you, dude. You need to get out of that debt. Okay, let's move on to my generation. Representing the millennials, we got Jesse. What's up, buddy? How are you? Uh, you know, feeling good, living better. Feeling good, living better. That don't mean anything, but it sounds fire. Why do you think your generation is the best? Why do you think the millennials are gonna take this? We're like the Swiss army knife of generations. You know, we know how to translate from boomer to Gen Z. Dude, you got fucking sayings for days, man. Yo, you're like Ted Lasso, buddy. I can only hope to be. Oh God, I love the enthusiasm, good for you. Now, let's move on to our Generation Z contestant coming to us from the virtual pod. Allie, what's up, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking, I'm excited. Are you excited because you got offended as soon as we got here, as soon as someone said one joke, you were done. Was it offended if I talked back? No, that is yes, true. You yes, had a line back, and that's what I want. When we crack jokes, you crack back. Are you down for that, Allie? I'm excited. I'm ready. Okay, beautiful. Why do you think y'all are going to win? Um, because we're a peculiar generation, so there's no representing all because it's really hard, but I know I got it in my back. I don't even know what the fuck you just said, Allie. I don't Allie. know what I said either, but... I don't know what you said, but Gen Z gets it, and you get it. You are the future, sadly. Now, let's stop wasting time, and let's move on to round one, which we call Real Quick. Each question in this round has many answers. We will play each question until somebody either answers incorrectly or takes too long to answer. You got three seconds to figure it out. A correct answer will earn you a point, but an incorrect answer or a late answer will get you muted from the round and then we move on to the next question. So guys, pay attention because it comes fast. All right, last generation standing wins the round and takes control of the board in round two, which doesn't mean that much, but you want as many points as you can, so have correct answers. Are you guys ready? Yes, Let's do we it. are ready. Sir. We're gonna go oldest to youngest, so Michael, you are first. Mike, you will follow. Real quick, name liquor brands, Michael. Amaretta di Serona. Didn't know what the fuck that is, Mike. Hennessy. Hennessy, all right, keeping it cultural. Jesse. Smirnoff. Smirnoff, all right, you don't have much money. Allie. Oh, um, um, Svetka? Svetka is a brand. Okay, I don't drink, so I'm guessing here just as much as you, Allie. Michael. Stolignaya. You know, you're bragging now. Mike. Absolute. Absolute. Jesse. Evan Williams. The, you look like Evan Williams. Allie. Uh, 818. Allie, that is correct. Unfortunately, it took you a little bit too long, so your ass is muted for the rest of the round, and we're gonna move on to the next question. Okay. Michael, Mike, Jesse, are you guys ready? We're ready. Let's go. This is the first time a boomer has done this well, so Michael, fingers crossed you make it to the finals for us, buddy. That's pathetic. Yeah, oh yeah, I know. Next question, real quick, name professional wrestlers, Michael. Hulk Hogan. Love it, Mike. Ultimate Warrior. Love it. Jesse. Triple H. Triple H, this guy still watches. Michael. Paul Warndorf. Pa Paul who? Warndorf. Paul Warndorf, that is, okay, that's the correct answer. Mike. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jesse. The Undertaker. The Undertaker, Jesse lives for this. Michael. <laughs> Jess Jesse The Body Ventura. Jesse The Body Ventura, let's go, you look just like a Mike. 
Uh, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan has already been said. Unfortunately, uh, you are muted for the rest of the round. Yo, the boomers are killing it right now, Michael. I'm loving this. Bam. All right, we are down to Michael and Jesse. Last question, real quick. Name Yeezy Boost 350 colorways. Michael. <laughs> Can you re <laughs> Yeezy Boost blah, blah, blah. 350 colorways. <laughs> You don't even, I might as well have been speaking Hindi. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I couldn't even make something up. Jesse, I'm going to give you a chance to name one to get a point and steal the win, but I have a feeling I know how this is going. It, yellow? <laughs> I don't think it's called yellow. I don't think we can accept yellow. Uh, what is the yellow called, Sean? Frozens, that's right, Frozens. Don't hate me, Complex, I'm 37. All right, guys, nobody had an answer to that question, but Michael, you did win round one with five points. Jesse, you're in second with four points. Mike, you're tied with Jesse with four points, and Allie, you got one point. Hey, listen, you seem like a sweet girl. I'm pulling for you in round two, but that was a little bit embarrassing. Hey, I just turned 21. You just turned 21, you should know these things. So far, unprecedented, never happened in top gen history. The boomers are proven to be the top gen, but it is still anybody's game. And in this round, we get to see how much knowledge you really have in what we call, if you know, you know. On the top gen big board, you will see spaces numbered one through nine. Behind each space is a question from any of the generations. Some are multiple choice, some are true false, some need photos and videos, plus there are some hidden surprises on the board that could earn you tons of points, vastly improve your odds of making it to the finals. Each correct answer is worth one point for the most part, but remember your scores from the last round carry over to this one and correct answers will add to your overall score. The two contestants with the highest scores at the end of this round move on to the finals right here in the Top Gen studio, while the bottom two go the fuck home. Nobody wants you here anymore. Is that clear? That is very clear. Yes. Michael, since you won the last round, you have control of the big board. Name any block you want, one through nine, and let's get this thing started. Eight. Eight, all right, I like it. Nobody's ever started with eight before. I'm glad a boomer's winning. What is the name of Sonic the Hedgehog's sidekick shown running with him here? Jesse. Tails. Tails, I knew you would knew that, dog. Come on, you had a Genesis growing up. Well done, Jesse. Jesse, you got control of the board. Pick a block. Let's go with lucky number seven. Lucky number seven, I like that. Oh shit, this is a triple double, which means it can triple your overall score, including round one, but it is double the difficulty. Honestly, I think it's way more than double, but anyone can answer, so buzz in as soon as I ask if you know the answer. If not, tuck that motherfucking buzzer in. Here's the question. Subtract the number of talking monkeys on Dora the Explorer from the number of dragons on Dragon Tales. Mike. I want to take a random guess. Dragons, dragon tails, talking monkeys. I'm taking two. Two? It's not that bad of a guess, to be honest. It is three, sadly. I appreciate you. I appreciate that you waited and then guessed, so good for you. I gave it a shot. You gave it a shot, buddy. You didn't, you shot poorly, but it was close enough. Jesse, you still got control of the board because nobody got that right, so pick another block for us, buddy. All right, number one. Number one, let's go. Here we did it again. Another triple double. I have a feeling I have a feeling you might know this. Multiply the number of Guardians of the Galaxy in their first movie by the number of Avengers in their first movie. I'm gonna give you time to work through this. Jesse, let's go. You know this shit. Five times five is 25. Damn it, Jesse, come on! It's 30, what Avenger did you leave out? What Avengers were you thinking? Name the uh, Avengers. I, I got Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Captain America. That's six, six times five is 30, isn't that what I said? You said five times five is 25, I don't know who you left out. I think you left out Captain America, dog. Uh, if you look like me, you'd get deported for that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> but you still got control of the board. We got a couple of questions left. Pick another number for us, buddy. Oh, I'm sure if there's another, another triple double out there, I'll find it. Uh, so let's go with number two. Number two is not a triple double. Which of these artists was not a member of New Edition? 
Mike? I'll be sure. I'll be sure is correct. You are 100% positive. I bet you listen to a lot of them. Candy Rain and all of that. This is the last question and three of you have five points. This is gonna decide it. One of you is getting sent home. Allie, you got one point. You probably going home regardless to be honest, but we do love you trying. Pick a remaining block, Mike. Let's see what happens. Three is the magic number. Three is the magic number. Third time's a charm. Let's do it. True or false? Elton John is not only a glam rock god, he's also the godfather to the son of Beatle John Lennon. Michael, you buzz in correctly, dog. Let's get a boomer up here. What is it, true or false? Oh, all right, I'm gonna say it's false. Damn it, Michael, come on! It is true. All right, now we have a three-way tie between Michael, Mike, and Jesse. Each of you has five points, so we're gonna play two more questions to break all ties. Allie, thank you so much for coming. Honestly, I'm not even gonna make fun of you. You seem so sweet. Unfortunately, you're not gonna make it to the finals, but we appreciate you coming out. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank God Gen Z's out of here, right, guys? No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> all right, Mike, you have control of the board, so pick one of the remaining blocks, my friend. Yes, I'd like to go with number six, please. Number six, I like it. Unlucky number six. Let's do it. Seven, y'all didn't know, so fuck it. Which one of these people did not date Ariana Grande? Jesse. The Weeknd. The Weeknd is correct. Good for you, buddy. You are moving on to the top gen finals right here in the studio. We got one more tiebreaker question from Michael and Mike. One of you Mikes is getting eliminated. Mike. This is gonna be tough. Pick a block. Actually, Jesse, you know what? You pick the block. You got the question, right? All right, all right. Let's go with number five. Number five. I'm amazed you remembered what's remaining. Here we go, guys. Michael and Mike, this is for you. True or false? Friends Gene Wilder and Cleavon Little starred in several movies together in the 70s and 80s, including Stir Crazy and See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Mike. False. False is correct. God damn it, Mike, you made it. Michael, I, I, I was valiant late. effort. That is honestly the best a Boomer has ever done on this show. I appreciate you coming through. You did a good job. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Mike, Jesse, you guys are moving on to the finals right here in the Top Gen studio. Get your asses out here. Our final two contestants have reached the finish line, our rapid fire battle to determine which generation reigns supreme. Here's how it works. I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock and then read a famous pop culture saying, quote, or song lyric, and all you gotta do is finish the line. Okay, we're gonna play the round back and forth, and then the contestant with the highest score at the end of the round wins $100 and gets to take the victory lap where you have a chance to potentially triple your money. Does that sound good to you guys? Sounds Let's fantastic. Okay, now scores are resetting here, so you're both starting at zero. So everything comes down to this. Jesse, we're gonna start with you since you had the most points before. Put 60 seconds on the clock and let's go. Jesse, Versace, Versace, Versace. Versace, Versace, Versace. Thank God. Uh, Mike, it's Britney. Time. Not at all. Jesse, I don't think so. Homie don't. Play that. There you go. I love girls, 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 girls. Every day. Buddy, you are fucking reaching. <laughs> Jesse, Billie Jean, Billie Jean. I mean, it's not my lover. I would have guessed that too. Christian Dior Dior, I didn't know. All right, Mike, you got kids, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol will be there. In time. Buddy, you are just fucking guessing horribly. Jesse, America runs on. Duncan. Mike, beam me up. Scotty. Jesse, I like big butts. I can't lie. Can I lie? I'll take that. Mike, anything else would be? Fruitless. God damn it, dude. Jesse, I'm gonna give you the chance to steal. Anything else would be? An imitation. Motherfucker, it's a right guard commercial, guys. Get it together. <laughs> All right, last question. Jesse, home is where? The heart is. There you go. All right, guys. Jesse, you got five points. Mike. I'm, I'm really upset you made it over the boomer because he didn't know a single fucking thing once he got here. You had one point, and I don't even know if you knew that shit, to be honest with you. It was a random guess. It yeah. was a random guess. Totally. Hey, buddy, you don't have to tell me. I think we all saw that. <laughs> Jesse, you are making it to our victory lap where you can triple our money. Mike, thank you for coming. All jokes aside, you look sharp as shit. Thank you. 
Welcome to the Victory Lab, Jesse. You represented the Millennials well, and you made it to the finals. How you feeling? Feeling good. Okay, beautiful. Now, not only do you win the bragging rights and $100, but you can make a lot more money as you take your Victory Lab. Here's how it works. Spanning the four generations, you have to identify all things pop culture. It could be celebrities or events or toys even in 45 seconds, and every right answer you get earns you $25 added to the 100 you already won. So if you play your cards right, you can walk out of here tripling your money, maybe even more. Does that sound good? That sounds wonderful. All right, beautiful. You ready to make some money? Let's do it. Okay, put 45 seconds on the clock and let's get it. What are these? Minions. Hell yeah, who is this? That's uh, Henry Winkler. Not at all, who is this? You gotta know this. That's Steve Greatest Harvey. comic of all time, uh, not even close. Richard who is Pryor. this? That's, uh, I love Lucy. Yeah, we'll take that. There we go, who is this? That's Michael Williams, RIP. Yes sir, who is this? That's Hellraiser. There you go, who is this? That is Pass. Supreme Diana Ross, who is this? Cowboy Woody. Howdy doody, I didn't even know who the fuck that was until just now. Who is this? Olaf. Hell yeah it is. Who is this? That is... Fake the names, they faked it as Millie Vanilli. Who is this? Uh, no idea. Who is this? That's Lil Richard. All right, we're gonna give you Lil Richard. Time is expired. That gives you six correct answers, which is $150 added to the 100 you already won. That's $250. How you feeling, Jesse? I'm feeling rich. Beautiful, dude. Thank you so much for coming out. We appreciate it. Thank you for playing, and thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. You know, if they pick this show up. I'm really not that, that confident at the moment, to be honest with you. <laughs>